Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets and midday update for the 16th of December 2012, or should I say 2016, <laughs> do apologise. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, or you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's give you the actual numbers now in terms of uh, Asian markets first and foremost. Given the fact that it's a mid-afternoon update, we have the Nikkei up 0.6%, but we are now into turbulence. If I bring up the chart, the Nikkei for you, just to give you an insight here. You certainly have a hanging man candlestick. Daily chart is obviously holding to uh, gap fill resistance. Okay, so again, this is a key zone, a key zone of resistance. You can see that we've had one a, a monster rally on the Nikkei. I mean, it, almost in excess of 3,000 points. It's been one hell of a, hell of a rally, impressive, and that's been led by the USDJPY. Uh, those of you that aren't observing the USDJPY, it's very important to because it gives you the uh, indication of, as to where the market is going next. Now, you can clearly see that we are into resistance on the USDJPY at 118. OK, so you are looking at uh, risk aversion. So risk aversion should certainly kick in here. OK, as the dollar starts to fall and the USDJPY starts to move higher. OK, in terms of um, uh, the Asian markets now, again, the Nikkei. Uh, certainly did finish 127 points higher. The Hang Seng was negative overnight and the Shanghai was up by 5 points, up 0.17%. So more or less mixed. Okay, so certainly more or less mixed. In terms of economic data this morning or today, we've had um, the wholesale prices coming stronger than expected in Germany, so therefore indicating inflation again. Uh, business climate in France certainly coming in stronger than expected. Yeah, trade balance in in uh, Italy certainly coming in on the positive side. Trade balance for Europe on the negative side, even with a weaker euro, very surprising. CPI data came in more or less in line. Okay, so again, something to uh, certainly be um, focused on. Okay, in terms of inflation, also with regards to CPI data in for the UK came in uh, more or less uh, neutral. And now we've just had building permits and housing starts from the US. And they've certainly come in on the weaker side, therefore indicating a weaker dollar policy. OK, so a weaker dollar going forward. OK, so that certainly seems to be a summation. Really, from my understanding, is that the uh, Chinese market certainly has been under pressure this week. The markets have ignored that. OK, a yellow rate hike cycle indicating three rate hikes going forward. Again, the markets ignored that. So the market certainly remains very, very complacent. OK, very, very complacent. Now, the focus at present is on the German DAX, from my understanding. Uh, German DAX at the moment is into uh, horizontal resistance on the weekly chart. So we are now finally coming into resistance at this 11400 zone on the German DAX, and thereby indicating risk off. That's my interpretation. OK, the daily chart at the moment is putting in a potential topping tail. So again, keep an eye on that 60 minute chart on the German DAX. We did have this bullish channel. Obviously, we traded above it now. So let's just see how the market reacts. But a lot of the time frame certainly indicating resistance. Now, the German DAX is confirmed. Uh, resistance is confirmed by the MDAX, They're holding that gap level resistance, horizontal resistance on the MDAX, and therefore looking for risk aversion. Tech all share as well, again, indicating weakness on the um, on the actual um, indicating weakness on the, um, <clears throat> the the NASDAQ. OK, so again, looking for risk aversion. OK, folks. In terms of the CAC, let's just bring up the CAC for you. CAC again, you can see the topping tail on the CAC on the daily chart. Impressive pop of topping tail like that as well. 60 minute chart, we are now going back down to 4810, looking to test that zone. Okay. On the 10 minute chart, you have the unfilled gap below at 4770. So let's see if 4770 actually comes into play. That will be interesting to observe. OK, now in terms of uh, European markets, you can certainly get the story here that the uh, the gist really is of one of risk aversion, especially given the fact that the uh, Euro USD has held a weekly chart support at uh, 1.04. Uh, so again, uh, with the euro being into support, you are looking at risk of it. You are looking at risk off for the rest of the markets. OK, so again, that's certainly my interpretation and that's my understanding at present. OK, with regards to the... Uh, the markets going forward folks okay right in terms of the FTSE 100 let's just bring this up for you now the FTSE 100 had a HNS formation okay the HNS formation is still intact to a large extent but it's certainly being threatened you have this fib 75% resistance which is seen at uh, 7020 
okay on the FTSE 100 so you are looking for risk aversion here at 7 <clears throat> 0 20 so keep an eye on 7 0 20 it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts at this juncture okay daily chart of the um, the actual uh, FTSE 100 you can clearly see we've put in a topping tail there holding resistance with a topping tail pivot high at 7 0 40 I think if I'm recollecting no 7 0 38 okay so again looking for a topping tail re reversal and looking for a move lower that's my understanding and that's my interpretation thus far okay that certainly seems to be the status quo on the FTSE 100 now looking at the 60 minute chart at the moment you've got a bearish engulfing candle and technically we should be retesting this 6970 zone let's see how much we can consolidate before we attempt to do that and the 10 minute chart at the moment we are retesting this breakout zone okay looking for a small bounce here create this left shoulder head and then right shoulder and look for a potential flush so that's my understanding and that's my interpretation okay that's basically what I'll be searching for and looking for as well okay so for my understanding and my summation really is that this market certainly is very top heavy and uh, bias certainly remains on the uh, downside we do have triple witching in the US so it'll be interesting to see how the markets gyrate okay for now uh, a sell-off on the euro stocks you do have support at 3240 then you have support at 3230 and then support down below at 3210 and that's the zone that I'll potentially be targeting Okay, so uh, my buy certainly is bearish for the remainder of the day, and uh, we shall see if the market continues to uh, float higher. On that note, please do visit cfds.com for your trading needs, and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye.